Welcome back to How To Craft Fair. So I know that I normally do tutorials for craft fairs, but I uh, wanted to change it up a bit today and do a craft haul, but this isn't really gonna be like your ordinary craft haul video because for about 10 years, I organized art and craft fairs throughout the state that I live in. And I just wanna show you a few things that I bought throughout the years. So I hope you enjoy, here we go. Okay, so this is a key rack that we bought from a guy named George who is a blacksmith in our town and he uh, volunteers at the historical society in our town and it's really cool because he'll actually do like blacksmith tutorials for people so you can come and sign up and uh you know learn some basic uh you know metalworking skills and things like that so really cool but um yeah so this is a key rack that we have and um i'll show you the back of it too it's incredibly sturdy um you know, the hooks to hang on the wall and everything. It's it's very, very, um, very, very beefy, you know? Um, but yeah, a lot of really cool detail work in here. Of course, you have the two hearts and everything, but then on the arrow itself, there's a lot of detail work there on the arrow. Um, and then you can see how the bottom of it twists on each hook. But yeah, incredibly cool piece. And uh, like I said, his booth is, his booth is awesome. I mean, I could have, I could have spent a lot of money there and uh, not been too mad about it, you know? So a lot of really neat stuff, but um, yeah. So thanks, George. Okay, so this next piece was made by a vendor named Diane. And uh, this was at um, our biggest show of the year. It was called Spring Fling and it was a two day, you know, weekend event on a Saturday and Sunday each year. Um, really, really cool piece, just beautiful. Um, all wire for the tree. And you can see how the trunk of the tree is, you know, twisted all the way down. Um, really, this piece is kind of cool from both sides. You know, you have this side, you know, hugging the, the rock on the way down. And then, of course, this side is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. And also, I, I want to give a shout out to Diane because um, arguably one of our most patient vendors we've ever had because... Um, in the 10 years of hosting shows, we literally only ever asked one vendor to leave our show, and it was the vendor who was next to Diane. So, um, absolute nightmare. I mean, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a, a separate video on that because it's like a never-ending saga um, with this vendor. So, it could actually be pretty useful for organizers on uh, how to handle a difficult situation. But, you know, speaking of how to handle a difficult situation, Diane was absolutely incredible because you know she really could have um she really could have let this affect her in, in a big big way and um you know let let things kind of spiral out of control but uh she was absolutely excellent you know and uh, communicated with us greatly so very much still appreciate it still remember the story um but yeah shout out to uh, diane for not only being a great vendor but also making absolutely beautiful artwork Okay, so the next couple of things I want to show you are actually gifts that we received throughout the years. And uh, I'll show you a couple of them that we have here today. But uh, it was always really cool to, to have these little surprises, you know. So uh, planning a show is just so much work. I mean, from both sides, of course, you know. But uh, as an organizer, you know, it's like you spend the entire year prepping and emailing literally hundreds of people. And it all comes down to one or two days, basically, you know? So same thing with the vendors, you know? I know that there's an incredible amount of work that goes into uh, their preparation for the show and all, and all that stuff. And when it finally gets down to the day of the show, it's so nice just to see the people after so long and uh, maybe even for the first time, you know, first time vendors. But uh, yeah, it's just um, really nice to be able to connect that way. And it was always great to get little surprises from vendors. So I'll show you a couple of them today. We are certified plant killers in this house, so we're not very we're not very good with keeping plants alive. But um, we did have, um, I believe we had a mini sunflower in here at one point, uh, one year. So that was kind of cool. But um, yeah, it has our logo on it and everything, and um, very cool. Again, very cool to get this. Actually, the coating on it in general is really nice too. I don't know if that's going to show up in the video, but. It's kind of like a speckled blue, but uh, very cool. And again, this was a really nice surprise from uh, one of her vendors who was who was a great vendor, by the way. She um, she had an incredible booth set up, and um, we we had an indoor show um, that she was at. 
even though it was indoors, we were giving people 10 by 10 booths. And we said, you know, if you want to bring a tent, feel free to, because a lot of people will use their tent uh, structure to hang things or use it for banners or whatever. So we let vendors use the tents on the inside too. And she was one of the vendors that took, took advantage of that. And, uh, her booth was absolutely incredible. She had a lot of different tiers. She was using vertical space very um, in a very intelligent way at her booth to kind of maximize the square footage basically of her displays. So yeah, really nice piece. And this was another nice little surprise that we got. Uh, this is of course, you know, just a, a slice of tree trunk basically, but um, this was from a vendor called Morton Woodcraft and um, has our business logo stamped on it and everything. And it's really cool because it's actually like stamped into it and not just you know onto it but um i believe when we got this they were they were definitely with us for the first time you know so we hadn't had them as a vendor before and i want to say that they were new to craft fairs in general um so it was it was really cool to like just get something from them and i remember i remember when they gave it to us they said like they appreciated you know, having, you know, communication along the way and stuff like that. And, um, you know, when we were organizing shows, we tried to, we tried to keep a balance basically of keeping vendors in the loop and up to date on things, but then not overwhelming them too, just because we know that, I mean, pretty much all vendors, like they're not just going to attend your show. They're attending so many other organizers shows. So it's like, you want to, you want to make sure that you're being respectful of their time, but also keeping them in the know. Yeah, really cool vendors. Very, very, um, very, very nice in person and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's about it. But that's that's a couple of things that I want to show you today. And um, I hope you like this video. Like I said, I normally do craft fair tutorials and things like that. But I wanted to give you just a little bit more of a you know personal uh, look into my years as an organizer and um, you know connections with vendors and things like that and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it so if you did and you want to see another one because I basically have an entire house <laughs> full full of uh, great items I've purchased throughout the years uh, let me know in the comments you know give give me a shout out in the comments and uh, let me know if you liked it and um, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching